Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the Tug Dick Show. Last two games, well the first two games of the season did not go well. Tug Dick was 0 for everything, but our entire team has been having a hard time. We're starting off very slow against the Brewers. You can see we're 0-2 against them. There's a look at Miller Park here in Milwaukee. Game number three of this new season. Hopefully this is where we turn it around, though. I'm not surprised that Brandon Moss has shat the bed so far. But the worst thing is he might actually have more hits than Tug Dick. Let's get a look at the Make me some beer, Brewers! I'm ready to get drunk. Last episode, Bochi was screaming at Tug Dick that he has not played well. And we'll also give you a quick look at our two starting pitchers. As you see their numbers right there. Uh, still the battle of the fatties who weighs the most, but Norris wins that. Because this is the first start for either of these guys this year. I don't know why they don't, they don't show their ERAs from last year in that situation, but they're like, who's fatter? Tug Dick 0 for 9 this season. Guy on first one out. He wasn't alone in wearing the collar in last night's ball game in which the team could muster all of one run. Yeah, last game... Did not go well. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and zero. Oh. Eric Carroll's these Brewers as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in feeling good as they're two and zero oh to start the new year. They're like, I'm feeling fine. For him so far here too. They've been able to take the first. He's not safe. He's dangerous. Don't let your kids. Don't let your daughters date him. All right, we're gonna try the Showtime thing to slow down time. I really suck at this. And he won't bite at that In that case, it's it was just waiting to see very slowly is it a, a ball or a strike. Come on, give me a fastball right down the middle. Will they give it to me low? Will they give it to me high? Oh, just got under it too much. That was the pitch and just got under it too much. That was a good at bat though. That was a solid at bat compared to some of the at bats last game. Come on, Brandon Moss, knock that guy around. We have no runs, so Brandon Moss did nothing. Bottom of the first, one out. Yeah, my Caribbean beat. Gonna hit you in the face. Tug Dick, that song is abusive to my ears. You're out, Mofo. Is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. I love that dick in his tracks. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I want some moose tracks ice cream. Tug Dick 0 for 1. Guy on first. I feel bad. That means Buster Posey or Hunter Pence keeps getting on base. And Tug Dick and Brandon Moss haven't done anything to advance him. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. Somebody in the stands is booing. I don't know why, but and a strike to even the count, one and one. And he's showing some real life with that fastball. That's a great spot on a one and zero oh pitch. He's set now. The pitch, good location on the outside. Oh damn it! Pretty clear. The plan is to keep everything away. And that's smart for most guys, but got to know your scouting report because this is a guy that can cover the Oh, come on, get to second. Oh, they threw him out by a country mile. That was some bad base running. The catcher going to walk the ball up to second and still take him out, I think. Well, at least Tug Dick didn't strike out, right? Man on first, bottom of the third. Tied ball game. And that is the best we've done so far this year is to be tied into the third, I think. The 2-2 two -two from Lincecum. 2-2 two -two pitch is hit in the air out to left. Come on, Tug Dick, you got this. Dick will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back. I still see first. Tug Dick's arm is pretty weak. I'm going to put some points into increasing that. Tug Dick's still 0 for 1 because the last bat didn't the really count. Man, I'm almost tempted to bunt. We just got to get him on somehow. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Well, it looked like it was going to be a little inside, so I was like, ooh, I'm not going for that. And he gets a piece here as this ball is Man, that away. was the pitch. Just a little late catching up with that 93-mile-per-hour fastball. Now the pitch. 
There we go. Finally, some good contact. Carry, carry. Oh, almost to the warning track. Oh man, talk about frustrating. That was really good contact too. Man on first two outs. We're up by two runs. Tug Dick's got to get out of the slump. That was such good contact that last at bat, but just didn't carry far enough. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Yes! Finally got a hit! And no shot to it only took three games and a ton of swings. See how this is scored. Yeah, these are those tough kind of Don't rule that an error. Do not steal his his hit from him. That's a hit. That's a hard ball to catch. He can't get to it. That is not an error. I would be so pissed if they rule that an error. And now K Rod Francisco Rodriguez is up throwing in the bullpen. I think that's Moss at the plate. Brandon Moss. Come on, Moss. There you go. Good eye. Good eye. You didn't swing. You can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. See, Moss, I set you up. Tug Dick set you up for an RBI opportunity. Two runs, five hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Here's one hit towards the hole. Good job. I can't believe he did that. That may be a run. The throw to the plate, and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. The tag uh, Tug Dick did not make it to third being aggressive, but the important thing is we did get a run in. Hell yes. Not bad. And Brandon Moss got an RBI. We actually set him up for an RBI thing. Tug Dick got a little overly aggressive there, but I don't mind. Tug Dick. Oh, they ruled it an error. Are you kidding me? So he, he still doesn't have any hits. Fuck you, Milwaukee scorer. We're up 8-1 to on Milwaukee. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. I cannot believe they stole his hit from him. It was an inside job. Oh, she let that go. Over toward foul territory. Chu is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleed. Man, Tug Dick and I were getting frustrated. <laughs> he should have had a hit. He almost hit one out of the ballpark. All right, guy on third, one out. Man, do we dare do a suicide squeeze? Now a swing and a fly ball. Oh, that's a shame that didn't stay fair. Oh, it doesn't matter. Even fair, that would have been out. I can't believe that. Trevor Plouffe, we're up 10 to 4, we're winning big time. I certainly did not think this LP was going to start so slow for Tug Dick. There we go, good catch. At least we should win this game. This should be our first one of the season unless we totally crap the bed here in the ninth. Ninth inning. Man on second. I don't know who's at the plate. Bottom of the ninth. We just need three outs and we win this thing. Good catch by Tug Dick. All right, we just need two more outs. We get a first one of the season. I still can't believe the Brewers stole that hit from him. We'll have another go. He struck out looking his last time. All right, we need one more out. This is the last out of the game to get our first win. Uh-oh. Can you get there, Tug? Yes! Tug against the game with a brilliant catch. But she's like, finally! You wouldn't think we were the World Series champions with how we played in games one and two. But game three, we turn it around big time. Wolverine! Uh oh, the butt grab is going on. Well, you know Tug Dick was not player of the game. His whole season so far has been close, but not close enough. At least Bochi won't yell at him because we won. They're like, hell yeah, first win of the year! Let's get 99 more of them.
Uh, top hitter for us was Buster Posey. He's been doing really well. He's got stranded a lot this year by Moss and Dick, unfortunately. Hate when I get Moss on my dick, you. That's gotta be who they're going to talk to. So what was the key to your great performance today? And well, Giants have done well, I thought I'd hit the ball. Something Moss and Dick are not doing. Buster Posey. Dick's playing like Moss. It's sad. <laughs> no, don't say it, Buster Posey. Don't say that. You do deserve player of the game. Going three for four. Crushing the Brewers. Yeah, thank God for the uh, Buster Posey. That was not an E5. That should have been a hit. Oh, well. What are you going to do? So Tug Dick is like 0 for 15 to start the year. And I believe we got to go play our rivals, the Dodgers, next. Let's look at the standings really early on. We're only a game out of first place. It's so early right now, though. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Padres are 2 and 1. Rockies are 2 and 1. Ah, oh, we'll skip training. I don't really care to watch that. Casimir versus Shields. Yeah, I, I don't know if the Dodgers are going to be any good this year. If it's like last year, they'll probably be our biggest opponent. They are our rival, after all. Your your hat says La Shields. Uh oh. This is the MLB pregame show, and I'm Matt Vaskersion. And as we draw nearer to the first pitch of Game One in the series, we'll give you the latest installment of our Tops Player Spotlight. This can't be good. Tug Dick is our focus. And he's the reigning National League Rookie of the Year. As we take a look at some footage from earlier when he received the actual... Sweet! Award. Eric, as a former recipient, tell us a little more about it. Well, it's no guarantee of a wildly successful career, but it is something every winner will cherish no matter how well they do in future years. He put together a very impressive rookie campaign last year, and all eyes will be on him this year to see if he can avoid the famous sophomore slump. I think he will. All right, the guys and I. That is so awesome. They put that in the game. He was rookie of the year last year, and they, it's so cool they put in the game that he gets an award for that. So far, he is in the middle of a sophomore slump. You know, I worried about that in the first episode. Why didn't worry about? It? I mentioned it. Maybe I jinxed myself. Man, rookie of the year last year, and totally like Steve said, middle of a sophomore slump. Well, that's not what he said, but he said he might have to worry about it. It's cool he's got an award, though. We're back at AT&T Park. Maybe we can hit into the glove out there. Or into the Joy Joy Cola thing. Tug Dick's still hitting the number three spot. Come on, Kazmir. Let's win at home. Let's get to 500. It's nice to finally get to play back in AT&T Park. So many memories from last year. Hitting it into Triple's Alley. 0 for 15. 14. Sorry, not 15. I forgot the error when it comes. I want to hit it over there to the Triple's Alley. Uh, pulled it a little bit. Little early on that. According to the swing timing, very early. I was going very slow. Hard hit towards center. There we go. Trying to get out into Triple's Alley. Come on, Dick. Well, it'll be a stand-up double. They got there pretty good. Finally, his first hit of the season, a double. He just had to be comfortable and get back home. Well, Tug Dick can make good hits out of stuff that's not in the strike zone. He's a slop hitter. That's why he's a free swinger. You want to swing with me, catcher? He's like, ew, what are you talking about? <laughs> Let's go throw it to Moss. Moss. Yeah, she'll take a look at ball one. Eric, your Dodger ball club is they enter play here this afternoon. They come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. And they were able to put together a good performance in the victory yesterday afternoon, so they'll see if they can keep it going here. Damn it, Moss, you cock knocker! Well, just like last year, 
Tugnik's like, yeah, I got a double. And then Moss left us hanging. The team only has one hit so far. Tug Dick's hit. Woo! Tied at the end of one. Hanley Ramirez will get a second shot now. He oh, we're tied at two apiece. Top of the third. Hand job Ramirez at the plate. Now here's the pitch. In the air to left Come on, Dick, you got this. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two guns. Tug Dick, one for one with a double in the first. Tied ball game, no outs. We're in his cool shades. Now here's the pitch. First pitch fastball. What are you trying to do? Hit my dick? Not cool, bro. Not cool. Let's try the showtime mode. Ooh, nice contact, but right to third base. On by Herrera's in time for the first out. Now batting. First baseman. Uh, at least it was solid contact. One gone now in the Ricky Weeks! Forward. They call you that because you're weak, the second baseman, man. Ricky Weeks. I was going to call you bitch, but I was afraid you were going to hit me and hurt me. <laughs> Tug Dick is really manly that way. Man on first. And he gets around on the Look at Tug ball. Dick. This is hit well out toward left field. Dick. And by that I mean that he set up well. I don't mean just like, look at Tug Dick. Look at him with your eyes. Tug Dick one for one with a double. Tied ball game. Bottom of the fifth. Ooh. Oh no! No shortstop! No! Oh, for a moment there I thought that was going to, you know, get out of the infield and it did not. Ricky Weeks will stand in here to start the seventh. BK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. That tied it to a piece. Starter looking like he's ready to blink. Neither one of them looking all that tired. Ricky Weeks is knocking on his bat. Hello, is anybody home? Are there pixies who live in my bat? <laughs> Ricky Weeks, you're high on the drugs, banana. You better knock that shit off. Here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air. Oh shit! Oh man, you idiot! That's my own fault. So Dick was just dicking around. Because he was supposed to be doing his job of backing up the shortstop. But he figured the shortstop had it. So he was dicking around and just jumping on the ground. Like, ha ha! They're like, oh crap, I gotta get that. See, he's like, wee! Oh shit! You moron! You didn't catch it! Oh, she's gonna be mad. Uh-oh, we're down by a run, man, on first. Two outs, bottom of the seventh. Uh-oh, we got a lefty on the mound. Tug Dick is not as good against lefties as righties. Oh, please don't get to it. Oh, right to him. <laughs> Damn, he had solid contact on that too, but... Right to, what is his name, Puig out there on the right. Come on, Giants. We got a chance to go to 500. Let's take advantage of that. Pedro Mercado strides forward. Man on third, two outs, no outs. Wishing was two outs. If they hit it deep enough, they're going to bring a run in and have a two-run lead on us. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. Catch yeah, there's no way Tug Dick has got a big enough arm to catch him there. And this will go down as a sack fly and an RBI. Nice catch it's though. A four to two game. That could wind up being a very big insurance run here in the lake. Oh, it's the trains! Hey, Thomas and friends! Extra run to work with. They'll thank you for it. And this pushes the lead up to two now. I bet Tug Dick is like, I missed you guys. So we can go out there and hug him. All right, two outs, bottom of the ninth. Guys on first and second, we're down by two runs. Tug Dick represents the go-ahead run. If he strikes out, we lose. If he gets a home run, we win. A hit, I don't know, if we're lucky, we'd tie it. Come set, now the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. What are you staring at, bro? Bro. 
Yeah, let's go Giants. Tug Dick needs another hit. He's got one. He's set now the pitch. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. Uh-oh. Oh, man, I do not want to lose this game. Not that I want to lose any games ever. Go to the third. The dirt here goes to third with yes. And Runners on second and third. He moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. And he just continues to have all sorts of problems out there on the mound. Already two walks in the inning. Now a wild pitch to go with it. And I'll tell you. Yeah, you could walk Tug Dick to get the force out. It would bring Brandon Moss to the plate. Uh, trying to stay alive. That was so close, I didn't know if they'd call it a strike or not, so I had to take a hack at it. Oh, that was not, but she's still desperately trying to stay alive. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The only plus side is making him throw a few extra pitches. So hopefully he gets some more get some more tired. It's some more tired. It's not gonna matter though if we don't get a hit on him or get walked. Man, he's wild right there. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Honestly, if he wants to get me, he'd throw it right down the middle right now. Full count? You don't see those a hell of a lot on Tug Dick. If I was the pitcher, I'm going to throw a ball here and bring up Brandon Moss. The only reason to go after Tug Dick is that he's been struggling with hitting. Oh! Damn it! Oh, I thought that was the curveball. It was low in the zone. We lose! That sucks. Tug Dick got his first hit of the year. Nice double. What a sad way to lose at the end. Man, is that sophomore jinx for real? It's my worry. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I had a lot of fun. We're one for three for the year. It's still early. We've got, I think, three more games in this series, so we got a chance to turn around against the Dodgers next time. Hopefully Bochi doesn't yell at Dick. Oh, man, our team is frustrated. Last year, Doug, Tug Dick was all Rookie of the Year. And now they're like, come on, Dick. You're playing like Dick. I'll see you all next time.